Well, what's up, friends? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Who Sports Report without you guys. As well as you ladies, you know it does not work without you guys. So, don't go nowhere, because I need y'all. Um, it is Sunday evening. It is 6.30, and the work never ends. I love working. I really do. And uh, I'm going to probably be working until the day I die. So, the um, reason why I'm working right now is I got a person from El Paso, Texas, that ordered a. Um, shot glass rack hold on let me some water a shot glass excuse me not a shot glass a beer glass rack a beer glass rack that um is for father's day for some reason i was thinking father's day was next weekend yeah i know my hair is jacked up but, but it just is what it is and so i was trying to hurry up and get that going and i just got the laces made today and uh got the primer coat and then in a few minutes I'll go out and get the first coast of uh, lacquer thinner paint on it because it gives a nice smooth finish on those and uh, get that glued up excuse me put up and try to get in the mail that's what my plan was not realizing that Father's Day is the week after that so I actually have a little more time and I'm kind of like a mad scientist Richard my friend <laughs> Everything's related in life. You know, uh, Mike Rowe does a show, Six Degrees of Separation, which basically can prove that just about everything that we know is all within six steps of each other. And I believe that shit's true. So it's crazy how Clarence, and Clarence, your rack is still sitting over here. Clarence asked me for a headphone set, you know, something to hang his headphones on. So I came up with the headphone rack. That design of that football, which came from the original design of somebody actually saying, when I made just the straight laces on the um, credenza that I made that looks like a football color, okay, it looks like a pigskin. I put that on there and they said, you know, you should cut out a piece of wood and make it shape like a football and it look like a football. That's where that rack came through. But I live my life in football every single day, which is fitting that I'm making footballs every day, be it wood ones. And so that original hat rack became the Joe Bardis. And now the Joe Bardis, using the, the, the pieces, I ended up doing that coffee table, excuse me, not coffee table, the rack for, or stand for the television for my friend Richard. Well, that got me thinking. I could actually make some other things instead. I could make a coffee table, and I'm going to start out with an end table. So that's what I'm working on here. This is the beginning, so it looks like a football, but it's going to end up being for an end table. And it's got a glass top. So I'm, I'm figuring out in my mind, because I'm like an evil genius, on how to make it work. And you're looking at that like, what the, what's wrong with that? That's done by design, so that way I can make feet for it. See, the feet. It'll have to go crossways, but the feet will be something like this, okay? And see what the feet are meant to look like is, and then there'll be two more going that way. What the feet are to look like is, look like a football on a tee. Then you have the glass top, and so you have the colors on there. Whoa, is your mind blown? It, is it blown? I, I, I'm thinking it's blown. I, I really do. So we have a glass football table. Look at that. Can, can you picture it? You know, now remember, there's going to be some other pieces that are going that way with it. But can you picture it? Yeah. I'm an evil genius. Alright, anyway. Anyway. It's funny. I get shit from people. All kinds of people. Okay? 
people will go through and say, Mark Holmes, he's a clickbaiter. He's a clickbaiter. Okay? Right? My last video, my last video, I was talking about Julio Jones is now gone to the Tennessee Titans, right? And you'll remember, even Shannon Sharp clickbaited us. You know, they, they kept trying to tell us that, oh, he, he's, uh, you know, he, he, the Cowboys should get that guy. You know, he's wearing Cowboys gear and all that stuff, right? And I said in that video, who's going to be the next person that we're going to say that the Cowboys should get? Because invariably, everybody is somebody that the Cowboys should get. Looking for my two little marks here. You see that? Look, you see this, right? That, my friends, is a joint. That's glue. I don't need to clamp it. I don't need... This is made in America here. American made. All right, so. Look, clean the glue off. Let that dry. Holy moly. That boy is good. That boy is good. Okay, so Julio's gone. Oh, look at this one. Look at that. Wow. I, I've, I've got a crazy brain. This is so you can take it. Forgive me, I'm walking kind of slow because my legs jacked up. Look at this. Let's say you want to put something. It's a little Joe Barty, or you can put something else on there. It's just like a, or you can put a candle there. We can put a candle in the window while we're waiting for our next Super Bowl. I put that video up because whenever anybody, and I mean anybody, is talking about being cut, traded, or anything else, everybody always goes, the Cowboys should go get that guy. We need that guy because we always think that the grass is always greener on the other side. And, you know, our players are no good, so we just need to go get others. So I, I did that video because I was being serious. It, it, it invertibly, somebody will be out there that a team is going to cut, and people will say the Cowboys should go get that guy. Let me say with feeling here, this is what was interesting to me. While that video is literally uploading, and people have given me crap because they say, you're a clickbaiter. And I say, everybody does that kind of stuff. Right? Mike Fisher, my buddy Mike, with the Maverick Bar, get your chicken wings and your burger on. Shameless plug for you, Mike. Mike Fisher does a video and says, Mike McCarthy speaks on Richard Sherman. Wait a minute. Mike McCarthy's talking about Richard Sherman? What does that make you think? Oh, oh we're we going to get, we're going to sign Richard Sherman? Oh. Okay. So you see the headline. And we still have people that will say, we need Richard Sherman. When you go to it, Mike Fisher talks about press conference where Mike McCarthy was asked about Richard Sherman. And, you know, he basically did the song and dance and stuff and says, you know, Richard Sherman is a, a great player and, you know, things like that. You know, he's not going to go and say, oh, he's old as, as dirt and I ain't got no intention to sign him because you don't really want people to know what you really want to do. You want to be super secret on everything. You get what I'm saying? So he's not going to go ahead and say, oh, yeah, 
we want to sign Richard Sherman, because first of all, if you did want to sign Richard Sherman, then you're basically costing yourself more. You, you want to have the ability to walk away. That's the first thing. The second thing is, is he basically says, we're not interested in it because that's why we use 11, I mean, you know, we, we ended up drafting all of these defensive players. He tells you, we're not interested. But see, and I'm not trying to throw shade on Mike at all. I'm just basically pointing out to you. Uh, you know, we all want you to watch. We all want you to watch. We all want to get you excited about coming in there, you know, and, and we all do the same kind of things. But, you know, we, we okay, we, we, we're not signing Richard Sermon. We're not signing Richard Sermon, okay? But it's an interesting topic to talk about. That's what they do on every show, guys. Every show on ESPN. The Dallas Cowboys, we just get pimped out. We get pimped out because the Dallas Cowboys and our fan base, we get them paid. Seriously. So get used to the fact that we always are going to be that team that the rumors are always going to fit. That everybody's always going to say, you know what? It makes sense. Because they know we will watch. It's the same thing when last week we heard Steelers might be trading for Van Der Esch. What? A writer from Pittsburgh threw a theory out there. Well, the Dallas Cowboys have Van Der Esch. They have a whole bunch of linebackers. He's a guy that we could be interested in. Maybe the, 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 maybe that we should trade for him. And that goes on. All of a sudden, it blows up where everybody says, oh, the Cowboys are interested in trading for Van Der Esch. No, we're not. The Cowboys are actually looking at having a rotate. This is my mind, and this is my conjecture, and I hope nobody goes through it, or maybe actually I do hope people do. But it's in my mind that the Cowboys are looking at this season of playing wide open football on offense. And they're looking at this as it's going to be a track meet. And unlike last year when we had older guys that wouldn't be able to keep up, we are got, got young guys and we got wave after wave that we're going to throw at you because these guys are going to be running balls out. They're going to be playing aggressive with their ears pinned back. That's my idea. That's what I would do. I'd look and say, I got a great offense. I don't want to throttle them. I want to open this mother humper up. And what I want to do is I want to have a defense that's going to get used to playing with the lead. That they're going to pin their ears back and they're going to go after the quarterback. That's That would be my plan. Now, again, I don't know what Mike McCarthy's plan is. But I can tell you this much. Richard Sherman isn't in the plan. Okay? All right? I think I'm going to go cook some dinner. I got a ribeye about that thick. I'm going to go cook on the grill. That's perfect keto, because I've messed up. I've been cheating on my keto. As you can see, I'm looking like a fat ass again, because I haven't been doing my keto. i got to get back on that one. But anyway, I'm going to keep on working and coming up with new shit for you guys. And uh, I'll see you soon. Peace.